Roland Boutique. Ooh, a TR-808. I got the right hat on today for this. This little TR-08 sounds really good. I'm very impressed. I mean, it's even more futuristic than my original 808. It's so instantly recognizable, yet every time you turn it on, you can do something completely different with it. I think it's uh, incredible because it's compact and at the same time it still has that analog sound and it still gives you that hands-on feel so you don't feel like you're working with something that's digital. You feel like you're working with the actual analog equipment and that in itself is uh, kind of groundbreaking. This is amazing, man. The, you've captured really the feel and I, and I mean even the feel, not only the sounds of the classic TR-808, but also just the way this feels, man. Just the metal on here, the colors. I've been living with the original TR-808 for almost 20 years now. I'm so used to the sound of it and exactly what it can and can't do. And despite no two TR-808 sounding the same, I can honestly say that in a blind test, I wouldn't be able to tell a difference between the TR-8 and the 808. Nothing would resonate the speakers like the, the 808 kick opened up. Whether you heard it in your car, whether you heard it at the house, whether you heard it in the club, it sounded huge as hell. I, I don't know if I could curse, but it sounded crazy. It didn't sound like a lot, a real drummer. It was electronic, it was techno. You can have any kind of drums in the world, but you gotta have an 808 kick in your record. When you open it up, that's the game changer. The TR-808 was the foundation for all of this music. It was something about that bass drum that you can open and decay, and it was like it was no other machine that you can could get that sound with. It's just some of the best drum sounds you can get, especially for, that could cross over to all different types of genres of music. What really makes the sound of the TR-8 so unique is, is a special crispy hi-hat. And you gotta think the snare, the snare was no joke too. It's all of the original sound. It's the original sounds. Like, I know the sounds. I know every last one of the sounds. In this kind of era of everything being USB and, and obviously portability and, and, and the processing power that we have currently, it's really important to be able to like integrate um, a classic instrument or a classic sound into a modern setup. The most profound thing is just how well it sounds like the original yet interfaces in a way that obviously the old stuff just, you know, it's not practical. It's easier to program a, a drum machine on the actual machine. It's step programming, it makes it tighter in a way because you can't make a mistake. I think that you're gonna see a lot more creativity with that classic sound. If I was brand new to the game and just started producing, and I heard the 808 and I heard the TR-08, I would actually buy the TR-08 because it actually sounds better. We already know this is gonna be money every time you fire it up. They're all my favorites, but this is my new favorite. <laughs> this is my new favorite here. <laughs>